What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm just gonna do a quick little uh, test start video. This is specifically for my buddy Nick in Chicago of Chicago Black Thumbs, uh, a world-renowned LS uh, expert, guru, if you will. Um, he requested that I send him a video of me trying to start it. So uh, I was already out here a little bit ago trying to start it. And I think another issue, I don't know if it's necessarily 100% related to the car running or not, but the battery I have is a 725 cold cranking amp battery, which is very small. So after two or three attempts, um, not only does the starter kind of heat soak, um, but the battery loses a lot of its cranking power. So I've actually got jumper cables right now hooked up between the battery behind the seat and the daily driver Jeep Liberty. So I'm going to give you guys a little rundown of the start procedure. So I'm in the car in neutral. Let me make sure I shake it 15 or 16 times to make sure it stays in neutral. Um, so we've got our kill switch on got our key on well it's about to be on just want to show you real quick there's the terminator ecu in the glove box i don't know if you can see i'll try to hold it still just for a second you can see one through eight leds when i turn the key on six and seven right now are green which means they're ready to try to turn here's my handheld so i've got it on kind of the vital screen we've got our battery volts so it's charging from the jeep um, we've got our tachometer right now it says stall because I haven't tried to turn it over yet and our coolant tip sensor 56 degrees which is actually warm because it's 45 degrees outside right now ambient tip so I'm just gonna put that right here uh, got my starter switch the terminator this green wire down here in the floorboard is hooked into the fuel pump so the ECU controls the fuel pump right now so we're gonna go for a quick start and see what happens. Try to make it set that up somehow. I guess I'll just leave it there. Here we go. All right, so I don't know if you could hear that, but it was kind of uh, not backfiring exactly, but kind of has like a weird pulsation sound if you will we'll try one more time I'll prime it that's the factory Mazda ignition beep that's not terminator related here we go Woo! hear a little backfire out the tailpipe so that's basically what it's doing Crank over, crank over. After a couple of attempts, the six and seven LEDs, which are related to the, um, I think uh, six is cam and seven is crank, or I might be backwards. Maybe seven is cam and six is crank. But anyways, that's what's going on. Um, so hopefully, maybe somehow, some way, someday, this thing will be running. Um, I did email Holly already, so uh, I've described in great detail uh, what it's doing so maybe uh, shut up so maybe they'll get some information back for me but also this was for Nick to see um, if that might give you an example let me do one more time because my wife opened the door and distracted me so uh, I'll try one last time just to just to see um, oh I did add a bigger uh, just an extra ground cable from the passenger side cylinder head to the frame rail so I made a new ground strap just to see if that would help and a lot of people online were saying to flip the wires on the cam position sensor so I did that with my extension harness and it really made no difference so um, yeah that's why I'm kind of out of ideas but let me try one more time we'll give you my point of view it's a key ECU Is the handheld. Well, sort of fired up for a second. We'll try that one more again, I guess. It's it's wanting to, man. It's it's right there at wanting to start. See, it just doesn't 
I, I, maybe the the power wire from the starter is just a little too small I think I got a four gauge I probably need a two or a zero um, so it uh, you can tell it it loses its its uh, amperage real quick Yeah, so it's getting like intense, intense amp draw. So I probably need to redo that battery cable at some point. See, like it, it wants to. It's, it's right there at it. Um, it's right there at it. So I don't know. We'll see. Maybe it'll, it'll work and run one of these days. But just wanted to give you a, kind of a quick video of what it's doing. It's right there, wanting to start, but just something is holding it back. I don't know if it's this harness, I don't know if it's this computer, I don't know if it's me. I don't know if I'm not holding my mouth right. Um, but i am pretty much tried everything I know to do and uh, kind of out of idea. So I'm reaching out to the LS community and uh, hopefully my buddy Nick can uh, maybe figure out what's going on. But I will upload this to YouTube and then I will send the link directly to you. So thank you Nick for taking the time. and. Uh, yeah, hopefully this thing will run soon.